Hello, fellow scientists, and welcome to Making a Mess with Mrs. S. Over our last few science classes, we have learned how thermal energy is transferred through the atmosphere. We learned about radiation, the ability to, of the heat to travel through a vacuum. The sun's rays travel through empty space and warm the earth. And then we've done an experiment with conduction. Conduction is the transfer of heat energy by direct contact. The earth itself warms the air up above it. And now we need to add the third of our big three, which is convection. So you need to find your science notebook, whatever binder, notebook, whatever it is you're collecting your information in. Okay, because we're gonna add convection. Convection is the transfer of heat energy through a fluid, a liquid or a gas. And we tend to think of fluids as being liquids, but in science talk, a fluid can be either a liquid or a gas. It has to do with how the particles move. When we talked about particle movement, we talked about solids, where the particles are very packed together and they don't move very much. And we talked about liquids, where the particles move quite freely. They're not so packed tightly. They're also nice to drink. And we talked about gases, where the particles are very loosely packed and they move very freely. So liquids and gases are both fluids because the particles move hmm, fluidly. How about that? When we talk about weather, we talk about convection currents and then hot air rises and cold air sinks. And today I'm going to conduct two experiments, one in a convection tube, which will be the transfer of heat energy through a liquid. And the other one is a convection box, where we'll talk about the transfer of heat energy through a gas. All right, we'll do them one at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna do the experiment with the convection tube first. The convection tube already has a little bit of water in it. Maybe you can see that here. But I'm gonna add a little bit more of water because I want it to fill up right up to the little neck. my candle. I have a candle over here. I'm going to light it. There it goes. Oops. Okay. Right there in the corner. So I'm going to add food coloring. I'm going to put a drop right into the top. And our choices are, it would seem logical, that the food coloring will go like that. Maybe it'll go like that. Maybe it'll go like that. We'll just have to see. So what do you think? What direction do you think it's going to go? What would make the most sense to you? To me, it would be that it's just going to go straight down the sides. All right? So let's take a look. I actually have a piece of cardboard here that I'm hoping might make this easier to see because I know the background's a little busy and I want you to be able to see. What's going on? Does that make it better or worse? Hopefully better. Okay, here we go. Boop. So what's that blue food coloring doing? Is it doing what you expected it to do? It's going to one side. It's moving pretty quick now that it's going. Can you see it? Actually, very pretty. I like the blue. Can you read it? The little bird is right here. Let's not set the set the world on fire here. That'd be bad. So, like I said, is that what you expected to happen? Pretty, huh? going to show you a convection current with the convection box and that one's over here. We can come back and visit that one later, okay? The convection box is going to show us the the transfer of heat energy through a gas, right? So there's a little candle in there. I'm going to light that little candle. Doing a lot of playing with matches today. Let's see if I can get there sideways. Can you get it? Yes, I did. Okay. And 
I'm going to position it under this little chimney. As we know, smoke's got to go up to the door. And I have these little rubber pieces. It makes a better seal on the side. I'm not really sure why they didn't design this little guy better. There's a big gap over here. But I don't want a big gap over here. Is there one in there? Sort of. Now, I'm going to light an incense stick. It fell out. Hmm, I'll just put one. It's going to make our house smell all nice and flowery because that's the kind of smell it is. So let's get to that. <laughs> Oops. Good one going there. Going? Yes, it is. All right. Now, smoke goes up. That's what it does. Up your chimney. Unless, of course, it's my house. In some case, it goes all over the place. I have to go to the doors. So I have a little chimney here with my candle on, and I have my incense right here. I have a piece of black cardboard. I'm hoping that that's going to help. So what do you think? If I put this over this one, what's the smoke do? Doing what you expected. Looks like it's going down the chimney to me. That looks like to you too, cameraman. I can still see some coming up. I think I'm going to rearrange my hand here. There we go. That's better. Now I can see some going down, more going down than going up. Hopefully that'll show we, in the close-up shot. Right. And eventually, if you wait long enough, it comes up the other chimney. Okay. So that's a convection current in with a um, with a gas. Because our smoke's going down into the box. And it, hopefully it's coming out the other one. I don't know if you can see it. I'm getting it in my face so I can see it. But I'm not sure you can. Okay. I can see it filling up the box. If you just hang on a little longer, maybe we'll see it come through. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to pass out here. It does smell nice. <laughs> oh, can you see it yet? Oh, I'm going to lose a chunk of it down the chimney. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put, put this thing out before I pass out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Let me hold it here. It might be because of this bulk seal didn't get all the way closed. I'll try that some more. Oh, again, I can, because I'm close to it, I can see it coming out the other crazy. How's our other one doing? Pretty cool, don't you think? All right, I'm gonna blow that candle out too. So the convection tube shows you a convection current in a liquid, and the convection box can show you a convection current with a gas. There are there's an assignment attached to Google Classroom, and it asks you to describe your observations and explain how one or the other, you get to pick which one you want to explain. It demonstrates a convection current. You can either pick the tube or the box, but you don't have to do both. Regular, you shouldn't do both, that's too much work. Just pick one and explain, describe what you saw, and then explain how it shows a convection current. There's a lava lamp over there too, did you notice that? And if you'd like to, we'll make that a challenge by choice. You can choose to explain how a lava lamp works, if you like, for extra credit. You don't have to. Okay? So stay safe and I'll see you at school. Bye.